हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand how to find the magnitude and phase of a discrete time Fourier transform. For example, if z is equal to a plus i b, here a represents the real part of the signal, and i b or j b represents the imaginary part of the signal. For this, we can find the magnitude. As magnitude of z is equal to square root of a square plus b square, and phase or phase angle phi can be obtained by taking tan inverse of b by a. Here b represents the imaginary part, a is the real part. Now, in most of the cases, we'll get z is equal to Exponential to the power of j theta, so this we can write it as cos theta plus j sine theta. Here we can find the magnitude as magnitude of z is equal to square root of cos square theta plus sine square theta, and phase we can write it as phi is equal to tan inverse of Sin theta divided by cos theta, so we can write it as tan inverse of sin theta by cos theta. We can write it as tan theta. So phi will be equal to theta. So if we get the expression in this form, we can use magnitude as square root of cos square theta plus sin square theta, and phase can be taken as theta. Similarly, if we get Z is equal to exponential to the power of minus j theta. We can write this as cos theta minus j sine theta. So for this, we can write magnitude as square root of cos square theta plus sine square theta, and phase angle will be minus theta. So you need to remember this so that it is helpful for us to solve the. Problem, and also remember, cos square theta plus sine square theta it will be equal to one. So this value will be equal to one. Now let us take an example where we need to find the dTFT of x of n is equal to delta of n, and also we need to plot magnitude and phase. Now let us write the standard formula for dTFT. We can write it as x of omega is equal to Summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n. Now, in place of x of n, let us substitute delta of n. So we can write x of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity delta of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n. We know. Delta of n is equal to one, for n is equal to zero, and delta of n will be equal to zero for other values of n. So we can write x of omega will be equal to one into exponential to the power of minus j omega n, for n is equal to zero. So we can write x of omega is equal to exponential to the power of zero that is equal to One, so magnitude of x of omega will be equal to one, and phase angle will be equal to. So this one we can write it as one plus j zero. So phase angle can be taken as tan inverse of imaginary part is zero, real part is one. So it will be tan inverse of zero. So Phase angle will be equal to zero. So we got magnitude as one and phase angle as zero. So let us plot the magnitude. So we can take in x-axis as omega. We are plotting magnitude of x of omega. So magnitude of x of omega is one for omega value ranging from minus infinity to infinity. 
Now let us take the second problem where we need to find the dtft of x of n that is given as delta of n plus k and also we need to plot the magnitude and phase. Let us take the standard formula of dtft x of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n. Now let us substitute in place of x of n delta of n plus k. Therefore, we can write x of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity delta of n plus k into exponential to the power of minus j omega n. Now, we know delta of n plus k will be equal to 1 for n is equal to minus k and it will be equal to 0 for other values of n. Therefore, we can write above equation as x of omega is equal to 1 into exponential to the power of minus j omega n for n value equal to minus k. If we substitute the value of n, we will get x of omega is equal to 1 into exponential to the power of minus j omega into minus k. So, we will get this as exponential to the power of j omega k. Now let us find the magnitude. To find the magnitude, let us take magnitude of x of omega that is equal to magnitude of exponential to the power of j omega k. So we can write this as square root of cos square omega k plus sin square omega k. So magnitude of x of omega is equal to 1. Now let us find the phase. To find the phase, let us take phase of x of omega is equal to phase of exponential to the power of j omega k that will be equal to tan inverse of sin omega k divided by cos omega k. So we have written this because we can write exponential to the power of j omega k is equal to cos omega k plus j sin omega k. We know that tan inverse of sin theta by cos theta, we can write it as theta. Therefore, we can write phase of x of omega is equal to omega k. Now, let us plot the magnitude. So magnitude in x axis let us take omega we are finding magnitude of x of omega so magnitude is equal to 1 for omega value ranging from minus infinity to infinity now let us plot the phase so to plot the phase let us take omega in x axis we are finding the phase of x of omega if omega is equal to 0, we will get the value as 0. If omega is equal to 1, we will get value as k. Let us say we are having the value as k somewhere here. If omega is equal to 2, we will get the value as 2k. So let us say the value is somewhere here. Likewise, if we join these points, we will get the straight line like this. For negative values of omega, we will get like this. So this is the phase plot. This is about the problems on how to find the magnitude and phase of DTFT. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.